everybody, Anime Boy Ian Power here, and welcome back to Mother. Last time, we defeated the doll that was threatening our sister Mimi, and drove away the poltergeist, learning the first melody in doing so. We discovered, we found the base, the key to the basement, and found Great Grandpa George's, his diary. Hard to read, but opened up to this page. The password. The, f the one who lost the tail. The forgotten one on the ship that sails. Let's hope that becomes important. But now we set off on our adventure across America. I love this song. I believe the morning sun. Always gonna shine again, and I believe a pot of gold waits at every rainbow's end. Oh, I believe in roses kissed with dew. Why shouldn't I believe the same in you? You may say I'm a fool, feeling the way that I do. You can call me Pollyanna, say I'm crazy as a loon. I believe in silver linings, and that's why I believe in you. Miss Lingren, are you okay? Oh, what can I do? What should I do? Where can I go? Who can I see? What should I do? What should I do? Please, Miss Lingren, calm down. Tell me what's wrong. My little Pippi is gone! Gone, you say? If you're going to Podunk, please tell the mayor. Oh me, oh my. Don't worry, Miss Lingren. I'll get over there as soon as I can, and I'll talk to him. Even though I wish I could throw him out a window without touching him. I could do that, by the way. Anyway. Miss Lingren's worried about her daughter, Pippi. So let's go save her. We better get there as quick as we can. And it's a good thing this game has a run button. And here we have the centipede. Every bit as strong as the doll. Which is, now that we have a baseball bat, not all that much. They have 12 HP and only can use a, bi a bashing attack. They have a decent defense stat, but that's not much I can commend them on. Uh, was that for payback for me insulting you, your defense stat? Oh. Well, it won't matter anyway. You are gonna die. Yeah, we don't have many items either. Other than the key items and stuff, but... I think kicking its butt was for the best. Now we just gotta not get stuck in a tree. And then we run into a crow. Now in Japan, these crows were holding cigarettes. That's and smoking them. These crows are as every bit as annoying as the spiteful crows from the sequel. Well, especially in their capability to steal items. And these things have 22 HP. Which is the most, the highest HP we've encountered so far. Okay, crows have a, can hit hard. Hard, so we better not let our guard down. And I mean that in the best way. Man. Crow, man, this crow is... Wonder what this crow finds funny. Well, I don't think it'll really matter much longer, because this crow will stop laughing. I said, you will stop laughing. Smash it up. Whoa! Eight damage. Yeah, I'd count that as a win. Now, let me just get back on the path before I run into any more crows. But, unlike Earthbound... Okay, here's the sign. Welcome to Podunk! Okay, you have our map. So, we're here. I love this map. Like, you can actually see the details. Oh, not, well, 
And here's an easy way to access our estate, and whoa, we are not... It looks like we're not doing too well. I... Okay, drink some orange juice. But, yeah, unlike Earthbound, every encounter in this game, in Mother, is random. You don't know when it's gonna come up. Uh, and you... Hippie! Now, I think, I believe hippies are a lot more, have a lot more HP than the, the crow hoes. But they're not as, ever, they're not as powerful. And they can fly into a rage, increasing their offense. And they have a bash attack, they can waste turns meditating, and also use a bullhorn. The bullhorn is a coin toss, really. Here we go. Your mother's calling for you! Nintendo believed it. That's not good. Yeah. If you believe, if you, if it, if it, if you actually end up believing it, the hippie will lower your fight. But if Nintendo, but if you're not convinced, it will only make you mad and increase your offense. That's had a take where I, where it used the bullhorn. Nintendo didn't believe it. His offense went up by ten, and boom. This, the hippie didn't make it, it through the fight. Uh. The hippie flew into a rage. Uh-oh. And the thing about psychic powers is you... You learn them. Oh, that's not good. Maybe if I use the orange juice. Yeah, okay, I'm probably gonna die in the <laughs> offense increased by zero. Okay. Uh oh. Nintendo suffered 11 damage. Yeah, this thing is not fast, but it hits hard. Use the bullhorn. Your mother's calling for you! Nintendo believed it ag again? Really? Fight decreased by zero. But yeah, it's a complete coin flip, and I'm. Yeah, that, I'm not gonna make it. I better get back home quick. Back back to the path. Forget back home. Back to the path. Oh, man! These hippies are jumping out of the woodwork. Come on, run! But it didn't work out. The hippie is meditating. Maybe I can sneak past this guy. I better get back to the path and not so I can not die. Well. Better, I'm gonna head home anyway. Well, after two failed attempts at, at, at getting to the city and oh, and a battle with an, a blasted snake, uh, with a snake, Nintendo advanced to the next level. Fight increased by two. Speed increased by two. Wisdom increased by two. Strength increased by two. Forces increased by two. His maximum each, each piece up by two. Oh! A new psychic power! And the magic herb. Snakes have a chance of dropping these. Not sure why that is. Why a snake would have magic herbs is beyond me. But this one, this one did. You have to be careful. And there is a run button. This game has a run button. And, which means we can make it to the, make it to Podunk in double time. Time. Alright. Who am I? What? Whoops. Welcome to Podunk. So far, so good. We got this guy. Oh, get back here! Oh. Did a poltergeist visit your house? It tore mine apart! Yeah, I'm, I'm, the poltergeist hit my house, too. But I managed to, put, to send it away, packing. Well, and here we are. The lovely town of Podunk. Here's a mouse. <laughs> I am the noisy mouse. Some buildings you can enter, some you cannot. If the door is round or has a sign, go on inside. The rest of the doors will not open for you. Bye! This introduces a game mechanic, door shape. If the door has a round top you can en or a sign, you can enter through it. If it's square, you can't. We have this guy. 
Don't tell me you've been south to the cemetery! Yeah, something's been going on in the south, the cemetery to the south. Maybe you know. Someone must be controlling the dead. Yep. We've got a zombie problem on our hands. We have you. Zombies may be anywhere in this town. A good word of warning. You can't tell who's, who's who. Be honest, you're a zombie, aren't you? No, what makes you say that? Are you really a human? Yeah, I am. It's amazing you came here. Well, better do it, like, be careful with who you talk to. The animals went mad and began to escape, so the zoo was locked. We have you. To eat, you'll find bread stale, but with its crumbs you can mark your trail. Do you think I talk too much? Well, do I? Anyway, we'd better find our way around. There's a department store here. The gentleman in Canary Village is my idol. But you have to be very careful who you talk to. I mean, the receptionist at City Hall is so gorgeous. Okay, you're safe to talk to. Not sure about that other guy. Well, here we are, City Hall. The city of Podunk. Well, he wasn't kidding. I'll share the secret with you later. Okay, I'll be waiting. Now, Abbott, we have you. I'm Abbott, not the town mayor, but his assistant. Mr. Mayor's over there. Yeah, I can see that. Now we talk to you. I've come bearing a message from Miss Lingren. I don't like it, but I have to talk to you. Citizen, I know you would like to help your town. Well, a child is strayed into the cemetery. And I'm up for re-election soon. You must help! Please help me! Alright. Fine. I'll help. I'll help. Not for your sake, but for her. Oh? You will go there and save her? Return her to me alive and I'll surely be a hero! Uh, you're... I mean you'll be a hero! Alright, so we have our mission. Whoop, who am I talking to? Anyway, next time on Mother, we're heading down to the cemetery to save Pippi. Matane!